Pro Touring guys, today we're going to talk about what rear end is going to fit your application best. Hey, what's up guys? I'm John Henson from Curry Enterprises, and today we're going to talk a little bit about your Pro Touring Autocross Road Race guys, and your cars that you're building, and what rear end actually might be the best choice based on how you're using that car. So for example, let's start talking about the first thing that everybody asks about full float versus semi float or standard axle shaft, right? Your full floating axle shaft is gonna become equipped with a huge bearing out here and your axle shaft is not gonna have a flange on it. It's just gonna be spline on both ends. Why would you want that? Basically, it's gonna eliminate what they call knockback or brake knockback. Brake knockback is when you're going into the corner really hard and that rotor wants to just, just kind of do a little bit of flexing out there and you have to tap the brake to kind of center it back up and get your braking. So we want to prevent that, especially obviously in a race application, and your full float is going to get rid of that. In a full float, we do 35 spline. If you necessitate a full floating rear end, we go straight to 35 spline stuff. If you're racing, you should be on a 35 spline axle shaft. And that's the way we see it. So if you necessitate a full float, it's going to come 35 spline axles, 35 spline full float. What I'm showing you here is our F9 housing. If you're going to be building a race car, you probably want something that's really rigid, right? Something that's not going to move around and flex because your chassis is trying to move around and flex. Basically, think of it this way. If you've got four link brackets that you're welding to your housing, that means your chassis is going to be doing this and this as you're turning around the corners. And the last thing we want is for our housing to do this and this because then it's going to deflect or move and it's going to mess with your third member, your gear setup, and we want to prevent all of that. So a F9 like this, great application or good choice for a housing style for your professional autocrosser or pro racer. In a semi-float, looking at the housing end over here, a semi-float axle shaft is just what you're probably thinking about in your head when I say axle. It's got a flange and then the, it's splined on one side of the shaft. Basically, perfect for a street car, mild autocrossing, something that you might do autocross maybe say once or twice a year, but you're not trying to, sh uh, to, you're not trying to shave milliseconds off of your time. You're not going out there and trying to compete with the pros. You're just trying to have fun. You maybe make you know under 550 horsepower. Your 31 spline semi-float axle shaft is going to be perfect for you. So just take that into consideration. The F9 housing style, perfect if you're going to be welding on your own brackets. Real easy too. If you order it in raw steel like this, you can mount your upper link mounts for your four link, or if you have a parallel bar, you can mount it to the tube here and just weld away. And this style of housing is gonna be much more rigid for that type of application. It's gonna be 3 16 sheet metal here. And then on the front side of it, we use a quarter thick faceplate where the third member bolts to. You want it thicker there because you don't want the third member to move around or flex. And then we remachine that face. Remachining that face makes sure that that is flat. So your third member goes right on. There's no deflection, no flexing when you bolt it down. That's what you want to take into consideration when you're ordering a Pro Touring style rear end. If you have any questions in regards to what is going to be perfect based on your application, please give us a call or feel free to send us an email, leave a comment below, and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching today. If you like this video, subscribe here. For more Curry Tech videos, click right here. And for other Curry content, click right here. Thanks for watching, guys.